Now let's understand the pathophysiology of myxedema crisis with a simple analogy. Think of the body like an engine. An engine needs someone to pull the starter before it can burn fuel and generate electricity. In our body, thyroid hormones act like that starter. They switch on the metabolic machinery. Once activated, the cell consume more oxygen like engine consume petrol and producing heat and energy just like engine produce electricity. Now in hypothyroidism, especially in myxedema crisis, the starter is missing. Without thyroid hormone, the body's engine run very slowly. Oxygen consumption is dropped, heat generation is decreased and all the metabolic processes slow down. As oxygen is required for electron transport chain and ultimately for ATP production, so decreased oxygen consumption lead to reduce ATP production. In the cardiovascular system, less ATP means weaker heart contractions that is the heart slows down that is bradycardia as the result cardiac output falls and if this continues the patient may go into shock in the respiratory system because of decreased atp the muscles of breathing are weakened the patient hypoventilates as the result oxygen drops carbon dioxide builds up and very soon respiratory acidosis sets in this makes the brain even more sluggish in the nervous system low atp directly impairs brain function. Patients become lethargic, stuporous and if uncorrected, they slip into coma. Because of decreased heat generation, so there is systemic hypothermia. Hypothermia further worsens coma and predisposes to cardiac arrhythmia